Hello again. It is, of course, the business of bishops and priests to advise us on ethics and morals. That is really the essential nature of their job, to keep us on the straight and narrow and discourage us from robbing, killing, fornicating and so on. Quite right too. Sometimes, though, such men overstep their mark a little and go beyond their remit. This is what happened with the most reverend Justin Welby yesterday. He claimed that it was immoral to stop foreigners entering this country illegally. To be precise, he said that it was morally unacceptable. Now, I confess that I don't see this at all. Reading carefully what the Archbishop said, it's not easy to know whether he was actually arguing in terms of morality, or rather if he sees this as a question of realpolitik. I say this because he appeared at one point to be saying that because of global warming, there are going to be lots of refugees in the future, and so there's no point trying to stop them coming here. At least, I think that's what he's saying, but he does waffle a bit, even more so than his predecessor, Rowan Williams. Then too, the Archbishop said that the Illegal Migration Bill was politically impractical, which suggests that he's more concerned with politics as the art of the possible, rather than being motivated by any moral imperative. There seemed to me to be one or two points worth thinking about. The first is that this new law was devised by elected MPs, a majority of whom approved of it. The House of Lords, none of whose members have been elected, is now determined to prevent the legislation getting onto the statute book. This is plainly undemocratic. Then, too, it's already against the law to enter the United Kingdom other than through official ports and entry points. Those crossing the English Channel in small boats are, by definition, criminals. Is the Archbishop of Canterbury saying that we don't have to obey laws if we are dark-skinned or foreign? I'm not sure that he's really thought this through. Another of his criticisms is that the new law doesn't address either climate change or wars. Well, of course, it was never intended that it should. I don't see how passing any law in this country will stop other countries going to war with each other. The aim of this law will be to stop people entering the country illegally and then ensuring that if they do, then they are removed swiftly. As a matter of fact, one of the first duties of a nation is to guard and protect its borders, and that this senior cleric is saying that it's immoral to do so tells us something about his mindset. He is actually opposed to the concept of individual countries and the very idea of the nation-state. He apparently thinks that borders should not be used to restrict the free flow of people around the world. I wonder if he's been watching the situation on America's border with Mexico in the last 24 hours and feels that this too is immoral to prevent millions of people from Central and South America from entering the United States. Without borders, we in Europe and North America would face a flood of poor people who were heading north for no other reason than they think they would be better off here than in Africa or South America. All that will really happen, of course, is that the standard of living in Britain and America will gradually be reduced until it's of the same level as that of Africa and South America. Not that all those millions of people will miraculously find themselves becoming richer and more secure. The process will benefit nobody in the long run, but simply destroy wealthy and stable nations.